the Sunday game since you said what you said, Mark, have you? That's which time? It is. Have you been let back? Have you been let back on our team? That's not fair. Four dubs and me and my own. You're not going to do that from Donegal. You're going to wait from Terry up to give me, a, give me a wee bit of help here now. So what are you saying, Peter? You called Colum Cooper, possibly the greatest footballer of his generation, a two-trick pony live on television. A lot of people took extreme exception to it. Would you like to, in a way, clarify your remarks? Peter, I was making a point about James O'Donoghue. Um, to me, I saw quality players in my time, and I think O'Donoghue was the most exciting player. I, I, since Peter Cannon was the last great player I saw. So, a bit, people say it was clumsy with my argument with the two trick pony or whatever, but from the point of view, the point I was making is about James O'Donoghue. He's only 24 years of age. I remember Matt Connor playing back in that. Matt Connor was probably one of the biggest footballers I've ever seen. He was gone at 24, so I think O'Donoghue is special. And I think it was Nick that said early on here that he had 22 touches of the ball, being marked by two men last, last week against me. So that's the call he has. So I think. Let's forget about the Cooper thing and we're going to talk about James O'Donoghue because really it's, a, it's about him. But I want to tell you a story because about Kerry. We always know, the dogs always know how shrewd the Kerry people are. And uh, I was asking Pat Spillane one time about Mick O'Dwyer, he shrewdly was, you know, as an individual. And he was telling me that O'Dwyer was always a step ahead of people. And uh, he set up in a hotel and then he had a garage and he had different business. And then he figured out undertaking me a brilliant job to dig up. And, uh, he set up this undertaking business and even uh, so next thing this woman in the township, her, her mother had died and she says to somebody, I wonder what Mecco, Mecco bury, bury my mother for me. And, and, and the woman says to him, no problem at all and if you give him an extra five or even cry for you. You're pretty cute up in Donegal yourselves, Martin. Uh, Ray, you obviously uh, 